Hey guys, AJ Hazzy here, back again with another video blog. Uh, Want to answer a couple more of your questions, so I'll roll right into it. First question from Mr. Brandon Farr wants to know, how do you get and maintain a good quality tenant? Well, the number one thing that I learned from doing it wrong for so many years is that you need to do your due diligence up front, and there's no better way to do that than a credit check. So asking a tenant to provide you with a copy of their Equifax report, it's free for them to pull, and it's going to give you the story of their credit existence since, they, uh, since they've been about 18 years old. And that is going to tell you a lot about that person. So look for a credit score you know, above 630 and you've probably got yourself someone that's responsible enough to pay the rent. And the other thing, how do you maintain them? Treat them like a client. These people are not just paying off all your expenses, but they're helping you build equity and they're caring for one of your largest investments. So remember their birthday, stock their fridge with beer on moving day, send them a personal note thanking them for being you know, a client and a customer and treat them with dignity and respect and they'll stay a long time. So I hope that's helpful. And the second question um, from our client, Gary, he wants to know is next spring likely to be a good market for flipping properties? And uh, this is something that I approached in my last article for Castanet and that's that the market we're in right now is not really a flipping market. It's more of a uh, buy, fix and hold market, which what it really means is that it's a great market to be a landlord in, but it's not easy to turn a profit on a home. For example, if you buy a home for 400,000 and let's say you spend 30,000 on it, it's probably going to be worth about 450, but to sell it, you've got to pay real estate fees and all that. So you're probably going to break even at the end of the day because really when you're flipping property, the money and the profit is made when you buy it at a deep discount. And in this market, when there's no inventory, getting a great, like well below market value deal on a property is next to impossible. So a better strategy for this market is to buy a property for 400,000, spend the 30 on it, have it be worth 450, get in an additional five or $600 a month in rent because of the cosmetic uh, upgrades that you've done. And you've still got that $20,000 in additional equity and you don't sell it. That's what it is. Buy, fix, hold. That's the best strategy for this market that we're in as prices continue to rise. So again, hopefully that's helpful. If you guys are curious about what your home might sell for in today's market, we do have our uh, handy tool right here on the video blog to tell you what your home's worth. And if you want to search the MLS directly through our blog and set up a custom search, you can do that as well. Hope you found it helpful and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks.